So here we have another example where we need to factor the trinomial. But in this example, notice how we have a negative constant. We have a negative 12. And notice how we also have a negative sign in front of our x term. We have a negative 4x. However, we still have a 1 in front of our x squared term. There's always an implied 1, even though you can't see it. And because there's a 1 in front of this x squared term, we're still going to use the same method that we used in our first factoring trinomials video. So let's get started right away with this example. Anytime you factor a trinomial, you're always going to have two sets of parentheses. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make my set of two parentheses. And on the left side of each parentheses, we're going to place our x's. And this is because our first term is x squared. So when we multiply these x's together, x times x gives us our x squared term. So now we got to figure out what goes on the right side of each parentheses. And the way we figure this out is we need to find two numbers that multiply and give us negative 12. And these two numbers also have to add or subtract and give us negative 4. So let's try and find these numbers by listing all the possible numbers that multiply and give us negative 12. So we know that negative 1 times positive 12 gives us a negative 12. Also, a positive 1 times negative 12 gives us a negative 12. A negative 2 times positive 6 gives us a negative 12. And also, positive 2 times negative 6 also gives us a negative 12. And we could keep on going, but I see our two numbers that we need, so I'm going to stop right here. So all these numbers multiply to give us negative 12, but we also need to find the numbers that add or subtract and give us our negative 4. Notice our first set of numbers, we have negative 1 plus 12, which give us a positive 11. Our second set of numbers is 1 plus negative 12, which is negative 11. Then our third set, we have negative 2 plus 6, which gives us a positive 4. And in our last set of numbers, we have a positive 2 plus a negative 6, which gives us a negative 4. So notice when we add or subtract these last set of numbers, they give us our middle constant, which is negative 4. So we need to place these two numbers, positive 2 and negative 6, on the right side of the parentheses. So once again, positive 2 multiplied by negative 6 gives us our negative 12. And positive 2 plus negative 6 gives us our negative 4. And now we have completely factored our trinomial.